going to start our thread right on the hook shank, cut out our excess material as usual. I'm using the UTC 70 denier, this is the fluorescent green color. There's also a fluorescent chartreuse color that's a good option as well. We're going to just start the thread and come right on in and add our wire. This is extra small UTC ultra wire. So I'm going to take my extra small gold wire here and we're just going to tie it in right on one side of the hook shank. And then we're going to work right on down and keep a slim profile. A little ways down the hook shank, I like this fly to have a good bit of curvature to it. That may be why he likes that upturned eye. Just do a quick half hitch and wrap our wire forward. Nice and close, open wraps, creating segmentation here. This is a size 18 we're doing today. You can do them in a range of sizes and different colors. Whatever you feel is going to be the best match to your caddis pupus. So we'll go ahead and capture that wire off. And then we can spin it out. And we're actually going to swap our threads now. So I'm going to whip finish real quick here. So that color will be the abdomen of the fly and then I'm going to come back in with 70 denier in black and this will be the thorax color in the head. So just a few quick locking wraps there to get that thread in place and then we'll come right in with our floral fiber. This is the H2O floral fiber in the black color here. And I'm just going to pull a small hank out. Let's see, this is probably like 10 or 15 fibers total. And we're just going to secure those in rearward. And then we can pull it back so that we don't have any material sticking out. Just like so. Cover that all up. And we'll work back almost to halfway down, maybe not quite. To start our dubbing. And for that we're going to use the UV black, sorry the UV peacock black. Ice dub. Don't need too much on a small fly so I always start sparingly. This will also help us prop our wings or legs up. Bring that floral fiber forward. Go ahead and cover that thorax region. And we'll leave ourselves just a little bit of space for our thread up front here. Bring that floral fiber right on over top, nice and snug, and capture it down. And then we're going to split these fibers in half. There we go. And I'm going to hold one down on the side, wrap it down, and then we'll hold the other one over on the other side. And do the same, just like that. Do a quick half edge, make sure that it doesn't come loose on me. And then I can go in and trim them there. Just gonna hold them back. We're gonna trim them just past where that thorax ends, like so. Make sure to keep them in place where we like them there. Split out to the sides. We can go ahead and whip finish. And then we can come.
come back in with our UV finish. I believe he uses an epoxy for this, but I don't have the patience for that, honestly. I'm a UV guy. And the solarized stuff seems to hold up pretty well, so I like using it. Let's see, I want the, this is the thin hard formula from Solar S. We're just gonna start slow, so I'm actually gonna use a dubbing needle for this. So I'm gonna take some UV finish under my dubbing needle, and then slowly coat the body, and up on top onto that thorax. Thin's nice because it'll soak in just a little bit. And it's easy to work with, move around. And as you go, you can always cure it and then come back and, and build up on top of it again to get the full profile that you're going for. Just a little bit more underneath, and I think we'll call it good. The name is very fitting for this fly. The Splat Roller works super well on the South Platte as well as Colorado drainages. Uh, all the Colorado drainages, the Colorado River, the Arkansas, during the summer months when you have a lot of caddis activity. And I'm sure we'll work Lots of other places as well, if you have similar bug life to imitate. Make sure it's cured nice and tough there and you got yourself a splat roller. Awesome pattern created by Shea Gunkel, Uncle F. Merchants Royalty Tire.